Hello right, folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm actually coming to a spot I haven't been to in years. It's probably been, I say four, four or five years since I've been down in here. Um, and it's mainly because they messed the area up by opening up the gates and stuff like that, you know, and then it, it got to where it wasn't so secluded. But now the roads is messed up. You can't really, I mean, if you got a, a good truck, you can get down here, but there's less people coming down in here than there was. And looking at walking in, don't look like many people's been out here, so we should be pretty good on that. Um, this is actually where I've killed my biggest buck at. I said it's been so long since I've been down in here. And you can see they clear cut all this right here. And when they clear cut it, they, they never put the gate back up. So it's been open for the last four or five years. Oh, well, so far it's looking good. This creek back here behind me, it's normally got a little more water in it. Right back there, there's a lot of tracks coming across that creek. All right, I'm gonna climb up this oak tree right here. Right back over there is where that rub's at. Come on, mosquitoes. Good grief. Um, you can see the creek right here. There's a little bit of water in it. I'm gonna stay on this side instead of going to the other side like I originally thought I would do. Why not be able to still shoot over there? But from over there, from behind the camera where I wanted to see it, I can't see any of this on this side of the creek. And I know back when I used to come out here a lot, there's a real thick bedding area back that way. And there was a big trail that come out of there. I want to be able to see if something comes out of that bedding area and goes back towards. You can see the openings way out there. That's where that clear cut is. So if they come out of that bed in there, y'all want to be where I can see. On the other side of this creek right here. Back down that way is that little point that I was talking about. There was a few tracks, but not a whole lot. So I'm... It gets thicker and thicker the further you go on the island this way. So I'm, I'm guessing they're cutting this this corner right here and going to that point, which is the main reason why I'm not going to hunt down there is it's real thick. I want to just get on the edge of this thicket. And I want to be able to see that bedding area over there. I got that rubs about 15, 20 yards to my right, so that, that crossing's right there. You can see out there behind me, that creek runs this way, and then it wraps back around. And this creek actually goes to that point over there. My wind's blowing that way.
But I'm coming to an area where it's been a really long time since I've been down in here. I've come, I've come down in here to certain spots, you know, and, but where I'm going this afternoon to go check it out and scout it to see if I can find somewhere to set up this afternoon. It's been years. Well, it looks like somebody's walked in and out of here. There wasn't nobody at the gate, so they down in here right now. They just gonna have to get over it. But anyhow, uh, it's been a really long time since I've been down in here, so I just got the bare minimum to come down in here. That way, I ain't carrying too much weight down in here. And if I don't see anything that I feel comfortable enough or feel confident enough to sit up on, I'm going to come back and go to a different area. Coming down the road, I seen a bunch of hog sign. I got to the end of the road. Right now, I'm just walking this water's edge. Back out a little ways. See if I see any sign that I'm missing out there on the road. I mean, as of now, pretty sure I could sit on that road right there and shoot a hog this afternoon. I've seen quite a few hog tracks. Well, I'll tell you what. This camera this GoPro's on my chest. You see time marks. That's even with the camera right there. That's a pretty good rub. That is the first sign of deer I've seen since I started walking this block of woods. I made it to the next spot. I got just enough time to get down in here and get set up in case the last hour and a half or so. Um, this piece of land goes down to a point. That, you know, in that point, it points out into the swamp. And then there's another piece of land out in there that kind of wraps around and points down. There's there's actually three pieces, of, three chunks of land that point down, and there's about a hundred, two hundred yard gap in between all three of them. Um, when I came out here, the first time I ever come out here, you can tell where they were crossing the swamp. The water's up a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be up too high. There's, there was tracks coming in here on the road, so they're still walking in here. Now that I made it out here. That, that point is about, I say 100 yards in front of me. It gets real thick right before you get to it. And it looks like somebody brought an old stand and put out here because I've been out here a few times and I've never seen that stand. I found a stump sitting right here. about midways if something comes from the way I walked in or comes off of that point going that way I'll be able to see it crossing through right there behind the camera and that point is back behind the camera and the way that thicket right there is Obviously, I'm going to hear them come through that, those palmettas. But it's, 
it's almost like it funnels them to where they either will come to this right side or they can go to that left side. Those last few steps that I made, 
I literally just told myself, you better get ready because it sounded like they was coming out. I made about three more steps. By the time I seen them, I went and set the camera up and one of them spotted me. that water and I never even heard them. I never heard them until they got in that grass up here. size hogs too. I'm gonna get back over here and get set up. I'm back on my log. You know, sitting here thinking about it. I'm wondering if those hogs was bedded in there on that point in one of these palmettas. Which when they run back across there I could barely hear them in the water. It's possible they could have snuck across there, come across there real easy and not made a whole lot of noise. The wind's blowing so bad. I said once they, when they were sitting right there behind that tree, I could have shot that black one from my right ear, but I couldn't get, I mean you wouldn't be able to see anything on camera. And then I seen that big uh, blonde one walk across. And then that black one followed it. And then my wind keeps shifting. So I, I tried to get in front of them. But they beat me to the other end of those palmettas out there. And I said, as I was walking over there, there was a pine tree that I picked out that I wanted to get to. When I got to it, I should have stopped and sat right there and got ready. No. My dumb self has got to, no, let's, uh, 